Welcome to a captivating exploration of sexual wellness, where we embark on an insightful journey into the rich tapestry of women's sexual experiences beyond the age of 50. Stoicism, originating from the philosophical corridors of ancient Greece, stands as a profound doctrine advocating for the cultivation of self-mastery, rationality, and the embrace of one's destiny, regardless of its twists and turns. Within the context of sexuality, Stoicism often manifests as a suppression of desires or emotions related to sexual expression. This inclination may be particularly pronounced in societies or cultures where discussions surrounding sex are steeped in taboo or cloaked in stigma, leading individuals to adopt a restrained approach to their own sexual desires and experiences. Yet, as we embark on this exploration, we are poised to challenge prevailing misconceptions and unveil the vibrant and multifaceted nature of sexual fulfillment experienced by women in the later stages of life. Behind closed doors, away from the glare of societal expectations, lies a realm where desire knows no age limit and pleasure transcends conventional boundaries. It is within this realm that we uncover the truths that lie beneath the surface, shedding light on the myriad ways in which women over 50 continue to engage with and derive joy from their sexuality. From the wisdom garnered through years of lived experience to the newfound sense of liberation that often accompanies this stage of life, the sexual landscape for women over 50 is as diverse as it is dynamic. It is a landscape shaped by resilience, self-discovery, and an unwavering commitment to personal authenticity. Through intimate conversations and candid reflections, we invite you to journey with us as we navigate the nuances of desire, intimacy, and pleasure in the golden years. Prepare to be captivated and enlightened as we delve into the depths of this fascinating terrain, where age is but a number and the pursuit of sexual wellness knows no bounds. If you like the topic of this video, please comment number one. If you don't, please comment number zero to let me know so I can make a better video for you. Now let's begin. Fact one, numerous studies and anecdotal evidence have revealed a remarkable trend among women aged 50 and above, indicating a surprising shift in their sexual experiences. Despite prevailing stereotypes and societal misconceptions, a significant portion of women in this demographic report experiencing a notably heightened sense of fulfillment and enjoyment in their sexual lives compared to their younger years. Contrary to the assumption that aging inevitably leads to a decline in sexual satisfaction, these findings challenge such notions, suggesting a more nuanced understanding of sexual well-being as individuals grow older. Instead of viewing age as a barrier to intimacy and pleasure, Many women in their 50s and beyond embrace a newfound sense of confidence and self-assurance, which often translates into richer and more rewarding sexual encounters. The reasons behind this phenomenon are multifaceted. Physiologically, women may undergo changes as they age, such as decreased estrogen levels and alterations in vaginal lubrication, which could potentially pose challenges to sexual activity. However, these biological changes do not necessarily dictate the quality of one's sex life. In fact, many women find that with age comes a deeper understanding of their bodies and sexual preferences, allowing them to navigate these changes with grace and adaptability. Moreover, psychological factors play a significant role in shaping the sexual experiences of older women. As individuals mature, they often become more comfortable and accepting of themselves shedding insecurities and societal pressures that may have previously inhibited their enjoyment of sex. This newfound self-assurance fosters a sense of liberation and authenticity, enabling women to embrace their desires and express them more freely within their relationships. Additionally, life experiences accumulated over the years can profoundly influence one's approach to intimacy and pleasure. Women in their 50s and beyond may have had the opportunity to explore diverse relationships, discover what brings them joy and satisfaction, and cultivate deeper emotional connections with their partners. 
As a result, they are better equipped to communicate their needs and desires, fostering a more fulfilling and harmonious sexual dynamic. Furthermore, societal attitudes towards aging and sexuality have undergone significant shifts in recent years. With increased recognition of the importance of sexual health and pleasure across the lifespan, this evolving cultural landscape encourages older women to embrace their sexuality without shame or stigma, empowering them to prioritize their own pleasure and well-being. The phenomenon of women over 50 experiencing a more fulfilling and enjoyable sex life challenges conventional notions of aging and sexuality. Rather than viewing age as a hindrance, these individuals embrace their maturity as an opportunity for self-discovery, intimacy, and pleasure. By cultivating a positive attitude towards their bodies and desires, older women can continue to enjoy vibrant and satisfying sexual experiences well into later life. If you are still watching this video and find these lessons useful, Please comment number one below to let me know that you are still watching this video with me. Fact two, as women reach the age of 50 and beyond, they often experience hormonal fluctuations, notably a decline in estrogen levels. This natural biological process can manifest in various ways, one of which includes vaginal dryness and discomfort during sexual intercourse. While these changes may present challenges to sexual health and pleasure, there are several effective solutions readily accessible to mitigate their impact. The decrease in estrogen levels can contribute to vaginal dryness, a common issue among women in this age group. This dryness can lead to discomfort, irritation, and even pain during sexual activity, ultimately affecting both physical and emotional well-being. However, it's essential to recognize that these symptoms are not inevitable consequences of aging but rather manageable aspects of menopausal transition. Fortunately, there exists a wide range of lubricants and vaginal moisturizers specifically designed to address vaginal dryness and enhance comfort during intercourse. Water-based lubricants, for instance, offer a gentle and non-irritating solution that helps to alleviate dryness and facilitate smoother penetration. These lubricants are often compatible with latex condoms and various sex toys, making them a versatile option for individuals seeking relief from vaginal discomfort. Similarly, silicone-based lubricants provide long-lasting lubrication and tend to be more resistant to water, offering prolonged relief from dryness during sexual activity. While some women may prefer water-based lubricants for their easy cleanup and compatibility, Others find silicone-based options particularly beneficial for their enhanced longevity and silkier texture. In addition to lubricants, vaginal moisturizers offer another effective solution for managing vaginal dryness over the long term. Unlike lubricants, which provide temporary relief during sexual activity, moisturizers are designed to hydrate and replenish vaginal tissues, addressing underlying dryness and discomfort even outside of sexual encounters. Regular use of vaginal moisturizers can help restore moisture balance to the vaginal tissues, promoting greater comfort and resilience against dryness-related symptoms. It's crucial for women experiencing vaginal dryness to explore different lubricants and moisturizers to find the product that best suits their needs and preferences. Consulting with a healthcare provider can also offer valuable guidance and recommendations tailored to individual circumstances. By incorporating these simple yet effective solutions into their sexual wellness routine, women over 50 can minimize the impact of hormonal changes and maintain their comfort and enjoyment during sexual activity for years to come. Fact three, the experience of changes in libido among women over 50 is diverse and multifaceted with individual variations often influenced by a range of factors, including hormonal fluctuations, physical health, psychological well-being, and relationship dynamics. While some women may indeed notice a decrease in sexual desire as they age, it's essential to recognize that this is not a universal phenomenon and can be influenced by various factors. One significant factor contributing to changes in libido among menopausal women 
is the decline in estrogen levels, which can occur during the transition into menopause. Estrogen plays a crucial role in regulating sexual function, and its decrease can lead to symptoms such as vaginal dryness, decreased arousal, and reduced libido. However, it's important to note that not all women experience these symptoms to the same extent, and individual responses to hormonal changes vary widely. For women experiencing a decline in libido or other menopausal symptoms, hormone replacement therapy, HRT, can be a valuable option for addressing hormonal imbalances and alleviating associated discomfort. HRT involves the administration of estrogen or a combination of estrogen and progestin to supplement the body's natural hormone levels, thereby reducing menopausal symptoms and potentially restoring libido. However, it's essential to approach HRT with caution and under the guidance of a healthcare provider, as it may not be suitable for everyone and can carry certain risks and side effects. Factors such as personal medical history, risk of cardiovascular disease, and individual preferences should be carefully considered when determining the appropriateness of HRT. Furthermore, there are alternative approaches and lifestyle modifications that women can explore to support their sexual health and well-being during and after menopause. These may include regular exercise, maintaining a healthy diet, managing stress levels, prioritizing adequate sleep, and engaging in open communication with their partners about their sexual needs and desires. Ultimately, the key to addressing changes in libido among women over 50 lies in individualized care and a holistic approach to sexual health. By consulting with a healthcare provider to explore available options, women can make informed decisions that align with their unique needs and preferences, leading to a more fulfilling and satisfying sexual experience as they navigate the transitions of menopause and beyond. Fact four, one notable advantage for women over 50 is the substantial decrease in the risk of unintended pregnancies following menopause. This natural cessation of fertility brings a sense of relief and liberation, alleviating the concerns and complexities associated with contraception during sexual activity. As a result, many women in this age group find themselves enjoying a newfound sense of relaxation and freedom contributing to a more pleasurable and stress-free sexual experience. Prior to menopause, women often grapple with the challenges of contraceptive methods, whether it be hormonal pills, intrauterine devices, IUDs, condoms, or other forms of birth control. These methods require careful consideration, planning, and sometimes pose risks of side effects or failure. The constant vigilance required to prevent unintended pregnancies can create a layer of stress and anxiety that may detract from the enjoyment of sexual intimacy. However, with the onset of menopause and the cessation of ovulation, the need for contraception becomes largely obsolete for most women. The absence of fertility not only eliminates the risk of unintended pregnancies, but also eliminates the need for contraceptive methods altogether. This newfound freedom from the constraints of contraception can foster a more relaxed and spontaneous approach to sexual activity, allowing women to fully embrace and enjoy the pleasures of intimacy without the worry of pregnancy. Moreover, the relief from contraceptive concerns can have broader implications for women's sexual well-being and relationships. Without the burden of contraceptive planning, Couples may feel more at ease and connected during sexual encounters, fostering a deeper sense of intimacy and emotional bonding. This sense of freedom and spontaneity can reignite passion and excitement in long-term relationships, enhancing overall satisfaction and fulfillment. It's important to note that while the risk of unintended pregnancies decreases significantly after menopause, sexually transmitted infections, STIs, remain a concern regardless of age. Therefore, practicing safe sex through the use of condoms or other barrier methods is still important for protecting against STIs, particularly for individuals who engage in sexual activity with new or multiple partners. 
The postmenopausal phase brings about a welcome reprieve from the complexities of contraception, allowing women over 50 to experience sexual intimacy with a newfound sense of freedom and relaxation. By removing the worries associated with unintended pregnancies, menopause can pave the way for more spontaneous, enjoyable, and fulfilling sexual experiences well into later life. If you are still watching this video and find these lessons useful, please comment number two below to let me know that you are still watching this video with me. Fact five, women over 50 often find themselves in a fortunate position regarding pain during sexual intercourse, as they are less likely to experience certain reproductive health conditions that can contribute to discomfort, such as endometriosis or fibroids. These conditions, which are more prevalent in younger women, can cause significant pain and interfere with sexual intimacy. However, it's essential to recognize that other factors, such as arthritis or pelvic floor dysfunction, can still contribute to discomfort during sex for women in this age group. Arthritis, a common ailment among older adults, can affect joints throughout the body, including those in the hips, knees, and hands. In the context of sexual activity, arthritis-related pain and stiffness may limit mobility and flexibility, making certain positions uncomfortable or challenging. Similarly, pelvic floor dysfunction, which encompasses conditions such as pelvic organ prolapse or urinary incontinence, can also impact sexual comfort and function by causing pelvic pain or discomfort during penetration. Despite these potential challenges, Women over 50 have the advantage of accumulated life experience and a deeper understanding of their bodies, which can facilitate open communication with their partners about sexual preferences and concerns. By engaging in honest and compassionate dialogue, couples can work together to find solutions and adapt their sexual practices to accommodate any physical limitations or discomfort. Exploring new sexual experiences and positions can also be instrumental in enhancing pleasure and minimizing pain during sex. By being open to experimentation and creativity, couples can discover alternative approaches to intimacy that are both satisfying and comfortable. This may involve trying different angles, pacing, or incorporating aids such as pillows or cushions to provide support and alleviate pressure on sensitive areas. Furthermore, prioritizing overall physical health and well-being can contribute to a more enjoyable and pain-free sex life for women over 50. Engaging in regular exercise, practicing relaxation techniques, and maintaining a healthy weight can help alleviate symptoms of arthritis and pelvic floor dysfunction, improving mobility, and reducing discomfort during sexual activity. While women over 50 may be less likely to experience certain reproductive health conditions that cause pain during sex, other factors such as arthritis or pelvic floor dysfunction can still present challenges. However, by fostering open communication with their partners and being willing to explore new sexual experiences and positions, women in this age group can cultivate a more fulfilling and pain-free sex life that celebrates intimacy and pleasure. Fact six, despite common misconceptions, safe sex practices remain vital for women over 50 to safeguard their sexual health. Contrary to the belief that older adults are not susceptible to sexually transmitted infections, STIs, this demographic faces unique risk factors that can increase their vulnerability to such infections. One key factor contributing to the higher risk of STIs among women over 50 is the natural aging process, which can lead to changes in vaginal health. As women age, hormonal shifts can result in decreased natural lubrication and thinning of the vaginal walls, making them more susceptible to micro tears and potential STI transmission during sexual intercourse. Furthermore, the prevalence of STIs among older adults is on the rise, with factors such as divorce, widowhood, and increased sexual activity contributing to greater exposure to potential infection sources. Additionally, societal attitudes and misconceptions about STIs in older adults 
may lead to a lack of awareness and preventative measures, further exacerbating the risk. Consistently using condoms and practicing safe sex behaviors are essential strategies for reducing the risk of STIs and protecting overall sexual health among women over 50. Condoms not only provide a barrier against STI transmission, but also offer protection against unintended pregnancies, making them a crucial component of sexual health maintenance at any age. Moreover, open communication with sexual partners about STI testing, sexual history, and safe sex practices is paramount for reducing risk and promoting transparency in sexual relationships. Regular STI testing, including screenings for common infections such as chlamydia, gonorrhea, and HIV, is also recommended, particularly for individuals who are sexually active or have multiple partners. Additionally, maintaining overall health and well-being can contribute to a stronger immune system and lower susceptibility to infections. This includes practicing good hygiene, managing chronic health conditions, and avoiding behaviors that may compromise immune function, such as smoking or excessive alcohol consumption. Safe sex practices are crucial for women over 50 to protect against STIs and maintain sexual health and well-being. By prioritizing consistent condom use, open communication with partners, regular STI testing, and overall health maintenance, women in this age group can enjoy fulfilling and safe sexual experiences while reducing the risk of STI transmission. If you are still watching this video and find these lessons useful, please comment number three below to let me know that you are still watching this video with me. Fact seven, for women over 50, Changes in sexual desire and arousal are often influenced more by emotional and psychological factors than solely by physical aspects. While age-related physiological changes can play a role, emotional well-being, relationship dynamics, and personal perceptions of sexuality often have a more significant impact on sexual function. Emotional and psychological factors such as stress, anxiety, depression, and relationship issues can profoundly affect sexual desire and arousal in women of all ages, including those over 50. These factors may stem from various sources, including life transitions, caregiving responsibilities, work pressures, or unresolved emotional conflicts. Additionally, societal attitudes and stereotypes about aging and sexuality can contribute to feelings of self-consciousness or diminished self-esteem, further impacting sexual confidence and satisfaction. Addressing underlying health issues and prioritizing overall well-being can significantly improve sexual function and enhance the overall sexual experience for women over 50. This includes managing chronic conditions such as hypertension, diabetes, or depression, as well as seeking treatment for menopausal symptoms, such as vaginal dryness or hot flashes that may interfere with sexual comfort and pleasure. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle, including regular exercise, balanced nutrition, adequate sleep, and stress management techniques can also positively impact sexual health and vitality. Physical activity, in particular, has been shown to improve mood, increase energy levels, and enhance cardiovascular health, all of which can contribute to better sexual function and satisfaction. Furthermore, fostering open communication with sexual partners about desires, preferences, and concerns is essential for maintaining a fulfilling and satisfying sexual relationship. Honest and compassionate communication can help couples navigate changes in sexual function and desire with understanding and support, fostering intimacy and connection. Exploring new sexual experiences, fantasies, and techniques can also help reignite passion and excitement in long-term relationships, providing opportunities for growth and exploration at any age. By embracing curiosity and a willingness to experiment, women over 50 can discover new sources of pleasure and fulfillment, enhancing their overall sexual experiences and satisfaction. 
In conclusion, while age-related physiological changes may contribute to shifts in sexual desire and arousal, emotional and psychological factors often play a more significant role for women over 50. By addressing underlying health issues, maintaining a healthy lifestyle, and fostering open communication with partners, women can improve sexual function and enhance their overall sexual experiences well into later life. Fact 8. For women over 50, it's vital to consider the potential impact of medications taken for other health conditions on sexual function. Many medications commonly prescribed to manage chronic illnesses or age-related health concerns can have side effects that affect libido, arousal, and overall sexual well-being. Certain medications such as antidepressants, antihypertensives, antihistamines, and some hormone therapies are known to have potential adverse effects on sexual function. These side effects may include decreased libido, difficulty achieving orgasm, vaginal dryness, or erectile dysfunction, depending on the specific medication and individual response. Moreover, women over 50 are more likely to be managing multiple health conditions simultaneously, increasing the likelihood of taking multiple medications with potential interactions or cumulative effects on sexual function. Additionally, Age-related changes in metabolism and drug clearance may influence how medications affect sexual health in older adults. Consulting with a healthcare provider about any medications being taken and their potential impact on sexual function is essential for managing overall health and well-being. Healthcare providers can provide valuable guidance and recommendations regarding potential side effects, alternative medications, or strategies to mitigate adverse effects on sexual function. In some cases, adjusting the dosage, switching to a different medication, or exploring complementary therapies may help alleviate medication-related sexual side effects. Additionally, healthcare providers can offer support and resources for addressing sexual concerns within the context of overall health management. Open and honest communication with healthcare providers about sexual health concerns is crucial for ensuring comprehensive and personalized care. By actively discussing medication-related sexual side effects and exploring potential solutions, women over 50 can take proactive steps to preserve and enhance their sexual well-being as they age. If you are still watching this video and find these lessons useful, please comment number four below to let me know that you are still watching this video with me. Fact 9. Stoicism, an ancient philosophical tradition originating in Greece, advocates for principles such as self-control, rationality, and acceptance of fate. Within the realm of sexuality, the tenets of Stoicism can manifest in various ways, particularly in societies or cultures where discussions about sex are taboo or stigmatized. In the context of sexuality, Stoicism may lead individuals to suppress their desires or emotions related to sexual expression. This suppression can stem from a belief in the importance of self-discipline and moderation, as well as a desire to adhere to societal norms or moral codes that discourage open discussion or exploration of sexual desires. Stoicism's emphasis on rationality and detachment may also contribute to a mindset that views sexual desires or impulses as distractions or disturbances to be overcome rather than embraced or explored. This approach can result in individuals prioritizing intellectual or spiritual pursuits over physical or emotional intimacy, leading to a diminished emphasis on sexual fulfillment or satisfaction. Furthermore, the acceptance of fate inherent in Stoic philosophy may lead individuals to resign themselves to circumstances or situations that limit their sexual expression or fulfillment. This acceptance may stem from a belief that external factors, such as societal norms or cultural expectations, are beyond one's control and therefore must be endured or accepted without resistance. 
However, it's important to note that while Stoicism may provide individuals with a framework for navigating sexual desires and expressions in certain cultural contexts, it can also have drawbacks. Suppressing or denying one's sexual desires or emotions can lead to feelings of repression, frustration, or dissatisfaction, ultimately hindering overall well-being and fulfillment. Moreover, Stoicism's emphasis on self-control and rationality may overlook the importance of emotional connection, intimacy, and vulnerability in sexual relationships. By prioritizing stoic ideals over authentic expression of desires and emotions, individuals may miss out on opportunities for deeper connection and fulfillment in their sexual experiences. While Stoicism offers a philosophical perspective on navigating desires and emotions related to sexuality, it's essential to recognize the potential limitations and implications of applying Stoic principles in this context. Balancing self-control and rationality with emotional authenticity and vulnerability can contribute to a more holistic and fulfilling approach to sexual well-being and relationships. If you are still watching this video and find these lessons useful, please comment number five below to let me know that you are still watching this video with me. Fact 10. Sexual orientation and attraction are aspects of human identity that can undergo shifts and transformations throughout life, including for women over 50. As individuals experience personal growth, self-discovery, and evolving perspectives, their understanding of their own sexuality may evolve accordingly. It's crucial to recognize and embrace these changes, approaching sexuality with an open mind and a sense of acceptance, free from judgment or societal expectations. Women over 50 often find themselves at a unique juncture in life where they have the opportunity to explore and redefine their sexual identity and desires. This period of transition may be marked by a newfound sense of freedom, allowing women to authentically express themselves and pursue relationships or experiences that align with their evolving needs and preferences. It's essential to acknowledge the diversity and uniqueness of the sex lives of women over 50. Just as women themselves are multifaceted and individualistic, so too are their sexual experiences and desires. There is no one-size-fits-all approach to sexuality at this stage of life, and each woman's journey is shaped by her own distinct circumstances, experiences, and desires. Embracing self-acceptance is a cornerstone of nurturing a healthy and fulfilling sexual identity at any age. By cultivating a sense of self-love and acceptance, women can confidently explore their desires and express their sexuality in ways that feel authentic and empowering to them. Open communication plays a pivotal role in fostering a healthy and satisfying sexual experience for women over 50. Encouraging honest and transparent dialogue with partners about desires, boundaries, and preferences can enhance intimacy and connection, creating a safe and supportive environment for sexual exploration and fulfillment. Furthermore, maintaining a willingness to explore new experiences and possibilities can enrich one's sexual journey in later life. Whether through trying new activities, experimenting with different forms of intimacy, or seeking out new sources of pleasure, embracing a spirit of curiosity and adventure can invigorate sexual relationships and deepen personal satisfaction. Women over 50 have the opportunity to continue enjoying fulfilling and satisfying sexual experiences well into their golden years by embracing self-acceptance, fostering open communication, and remaining open to exploration. Each woman's journey is unique, and by honoring individual desires and preferences, women can cultivate a vibrant and fulfilling sexual identity that enriches their lives. If you found this information enlightening, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more empowering content. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey exploring various aspects of sexuality for women over 50. We've delved into the complexities of sexual desire 
the impact of aging on sexual health, and the importance of embracing self-acceptance and open communication. Now, it's time to reflect. What have you learned from today's discussion? We invite you to share one key takeaway that resonated with you and that you're committed to incorporating into your own life. Whether it's embracing self-acceptance, fostering open communication in your relationships, or maintaining a willingness to explore new experiences, your insights and reflections are valuable contributions to our ongoing conversation. Please leave your comments below and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more empowering content like this. Your engagement helps us continue to create informative and impactful videos to support individuals on their journey towards sexual well-being and fulfillment. Thank you for being part of our community.